Welcome back. All right, so one prevailing opinion that seems to be out there is that uh, THG, not a fan of Marty Berder. The reality is that when I talk about my list of who I think have been the best goalies that I've watched during my lifetime of watching hockey, I would have Patrick Watt, number one, Dominic Hasek at number two, and I would have Marty Berder at number three. I don't construe that as hate. That's just, that's my one opinion, and I know it may be the minority opinion. I know there are other opinions out there as well. Uh, one thing that I don't do either is I don't declare who the greatest goalie of all time is. And I've seen that of, well, this is the greatest of all time. I never saw Terry Sawchuk play. There are people who've seen Terry Sawchuk play in their lifetimes who are still kicking around. And they say Terry Sawchuk was the best goalie of all time. I've also seen Glenn Hall's name mentioned. And it is this divisive topic that there isn't really a right answer to. With Marty Berdur, uh, the longevity is incredible. That means he had great conditioning. And also, the New Jersey Devils had a style of hockey that I think protected him might be overstating it, but it definitely made it so that he faced less opportunities and less really strong scoring chances. And so I think it made it easier for him to play more games in some of those seasons. Not to take anything away from him at all as a goaltender, and so when he's drafted 20th overall in 1990, I remember thinking that was kind of kind of fun because uh, Richard Berdur had been one of my favorite goalies growing up. And I thought, yeah, it's too bad the Canucks didn't draft this Berdur kid because it'd be fun to see another Berdur in Vancouver. Reality is, he ends up being the all-time wins leader. He ends up being the all-time leader in games played and, and losses too. And he's, he's number one in a lot of things. So 91-92, he makes his debut with the Devils. Just plays four games that year. A record of 2-2. Two and two. His save percentage, 882. Goals against average, 3.36. No shutouts. For this video, I went into more stats. So the playoffs are actually over here on their own board because I ran out of room. And so running out of room means I have to use another board. Now that year, he played in one playoff game. Had an 800 save percentage, 5.61 goals against. So it is a very small sample size there. 93-94, his first full season in the NHL. So he didn't play in the NHL, 92-93. And in 93-94, that's a big year for New Jersey. This is a team that's starting to get an identity. And so 47 games played, he has 27 wins, which is 10th overall in the NHL, 11 losses and 8 ties, 9-15 save percentage, which is 4th in the NHL, his 2.40 goals against, 2nd. So this is when we're seeing more goal scoring. Goal scoring is about to drop precipitously in the NHL, and you'll see that when you look at where he is in the overall numbers, because he's second with the 2.4 goals against that year. His three shutouts were eighth in the NHL that year. He won the Calder Trophy, and he was seventh in Vesna voting. So right away, you know, people realize this guy's going to be pretty darn good. Uh, Chris Terreri had been a good goaltender for them, but yeah, when Berter came along, Terreri's time was, was done as a starter. So 17 games played in the playoffs in 94, 8 wins, 9 losses, 9.28 save percentage, 1.95 goals against, and 1 shutout. Of course, they famously lost in a pretty darn good series against the New, against the New York Rangers, um, where Mark Messier made a promise, and he kept it. Uh, so 94-95, 40 games played. That was 6th overall in the NHL that year, because that's a lockout shortened season. Um 19 wins, which is fifth overall in the NHL that year, 11 losses and six ties. 902 save percentage, uh, 2.44 goals against average was 10th. So his goals against goes up a little bit. He drops from second to 10th because goals against is dropping around the league. Uh, seventh on the list of shutouts with three. Uh, he was eighth in Vesna voting that year. But I don't think he was concerned about that because in the playoffs, uh, the Devils go 16-4. and four. He has a 927 save percentage, a 1.67 goals against average, three shutouts, and they win the Stanley Cup. So the New Jersey Devils, who a decade earlier would have been considered kind of the joke of the NHL, and uh, why is there a team in New Jersey and nobody's in the building? And then they're a Stanley Cup champion. 95-96, he plays 77 games that year, which is second. And again, conditioning had to be really strong with Berdur. Uh, 34 games, which is, or 34 wins, which is third overall. 30 losses, which is first overall, and 12 ties. 9-11 save percentage, which is 7th overall in the NHL. 2.34 goals against, which is 5th overall. And 6 shutouts, which is 2nd overall. He's 4th in Vesna voting, and he plays in his first All-Star game that year. They did not make the playoffs um, in 1996. They won the Stanley Cup and then missed the playoffs, so it was bizarre. 96-97. 67 games played, which is 5th overall in the NHL, 37 wins, which is 2nd, 
14 losses, 13 ties, 9.2 or 9.27 save percentage, which is third overall in the NHL. His goals against is ridiculous at 1.88, which is first. Uh, shutouts 10, which is first. So Jennings Trophy, absolutely. Second in Vesna voting, fourth in Hart voting, second team All Star, and he plays in the All Star game. And in the playoffs that year, he goes five and five in ten games, 9.29 save percentage, 1.73 goals against and two shutouts. And this is right around where people are like, you know, this smarty kid, he's one of the best goalies in the league. Yep, he's absolutely, he's up there, he's one of the best goalies in the league. And that would continue for some time. 97-98 plays 70 games, which is fourth overall. 43 wins, which is first. 17 losses and 8 ties. 917 save percentage, which is fifth overall in the NHL. His 1.89 goals against is second in the NHL. Second at 1.89 goals against per game. That's that's second. So yeah, we're we're into the era where there's uh, not as much scoring, and his ten shutouts eh, was second that year as well. So Jennings, yep, second in Vesna voting, absolutely fourth in Hart voting, second team All Star, and playing in the All Star game. Curiously, he hasn't won a Vesna yet, but he has that Stanley Cup ring, so he's probably okay with that. Uh, ninety eight, ninety nine plays seventy two games, which is first overall. His thirty nine wins is also first overall. 21 losses, 10 ties. The save percentage dips a bit to 906. 2.29 goals against. Four shutouts. He was fourth in Vesna voting and in the All-Star game that year. So his numbers drop, but he's still in the Vesna voting. Every year he's going to be in the Vesna voting because he plays a lot. He gets a lot of wins. And this is an argument we still have now where a goaltender gets a lot of wins. They have a great save percentage, great goals against. For instance, this year we have Olmark having a great year. If you put Olmark in Arizona, would his numbers look like that? Probably not. If he was in Anaheim, would they look like that? Probably not. And it's one of these things that, you know, um, and and again, it's one argument that we've had a lot in the National Hockey League with fans, with media, and just in general for ages. So, uh, 99-2000 plays 72 games. That was third overall in the NHL that year. 43 wins, which is first. 20 losses, 8 ties. 910 save percentage. His 2.24 goals against is eighth overall in the NHL. His six shutouts were second. He's fifth in Vesna voting, and he plays in the All Star game. But 99 2000 is a big year for New Jersey. Uh, 23 games, 16 wins, seven losses in the playoffs. 927 save percentage, 1.61 goals against, two shutouts for a Stanley Cup. Oh, the 98 99 season. Seven games in the playoffs, three and four record with an 8.56 save percentage, 2.83 goals against average, and the 97-98 season, six games played, two and four record, 9.27 save percentage, 1.97 goals against. So 1.97 goals against average, and they only won two out of six that year. But we get to 2000-2001, so now they're the defending Stanley Cup champions again, and they were so close to repeating the year after. So 73 games played, that's third overall, uh, 42 wins, which is first. 17 losses, 11 ties, 906 safe percentage, 2.32 goals against, 9 shutouts, which is third overall. So, the 2.32 goals against average does not get him in the top 10. 2.4, not that long before that, gets you second overall. So that shows you how much goal scoring had come down. Uh, he's, there, he's third in Vezina voting that year, fifth in Hart voting, and an All-Star. And the Hart votes really come from the fact it doesn't take a night off. Uh, one of the easiest jobs in the National Hockey League backup to Marty Berder. Um, so you're going to sit here, um, watch the game. You have a great seat, one of the best seats in the house. So 2000-2001, I won't remember the small board in this case, 25 games played, 15 wins, 10 losses, 897 safe percentage, which is low by his standard, 2.07 goals against, and four shutouts. So they go all the way to the final. They don't quite get over the hump. They don't repeat as champions, but they would get another Stanley Cup, of course. 2001-2002, 73 games, which led the league, 38 wins, which is second overall, 26 losses, 9 ties, uh, 906 save percentage, 2.15 goals against, which is 6th in the NHL. Man, 4 shutouts and 5th in Vezina voting. This shows how long this channel's been around, because back in 2015 when this channel started up, yeah, we were still seeing some really low goals against and not a lot of goals being scored. Now we're into a more lively era, and these numbers are really standing out. But at any rate, he's fifth in Vezina voting that year, uh, but he hasn't won a Vezina yet. So 2002-2003, he's got to fix that. 73 games played, which is second overall. 41 wins, which is first. 23 losses, 9 ties, 914 save percentage, 
2.02 goals against average, which is fourth overall, nine shutouts, which is first, wins the Jennings, wins the Vesna, first team All-Star, third in heart voting, and he's in the All-Star game, and in the 2003 playoffs, 24 games, 16-8 and eight record, 934 safe percentage, 1.65 goals against, and seven shutouts on his way to the third Stanley Cup ring for himself and for the New Jersey Devils. So the encore to that, well, 0304, 75 games played, which is first, and it sets a career high for him to that point. He would beat that. Uh, 38 wins, which is first, 26 losses, which is 10th overall, 11 ties, 917 save percentage, 2.03 goals against average, which is fourth, again, fourth, uh, 11 shutouts, which leads the league, wins the Jennings, wins the Vezina, first team all-star, third in heart voting, and all-star game. So back-to-back Vezina, Vezina trophies, not too shabby. Now, so we're up to 0304, five games in the playoffs, a one and four record, 902 safe percentage, 2.62 goals against average, no shutouts. So 0506, this is where goal scoring's gone up now. So the NHL coming out of the lockout wiped out season of 0405, scoring comes up. 73 games, which is third overall, 43 wins, which is first, 23 losses, which is 10th, Seven overtime or shootout losses. Oh, the shootout's not in yet. So overtime losses, ties, 9-11 save percentage, 2.57 goals against, which is ninth overall in the NHL. Uh, five shutouts, which is fourth overall in the NHL. So there you go. 2.57 goals against gets you into the top 10. Half a decade earlier, 2.32 didn't. That's the difference right there. Uh, he's second in Vesna Trophy. A second, second in Vesna Trophy voting. And he's the second team all-star. So 06-07, 78 games played, 48 wins. Both of those lead the league. 23 losses, which is 10th. Seven overtime losses or ties. 922 save percentage, which is third in the NHL. Uh, and it's the highest of his career. 2.18 goals against his third. And 12 shutouts, which was first. So he wins the Vezina. He's third in heart voting. He's a first team all-star and plays in the all-star game. That was one year that I, as a Canuck fan, felt Luongo was, I thought, the better choice for the Vezina Trophy to take nothing away from, from Brodeur, but that was my opinion at the time. As a Canuck fan, does that cloud my judgment? Sure. 06-07, uh, that year in the playoffs. Well, 05-06 in the playoffs. Uh, we'll do that one first. Nine games, 5-4 and four record, 9-23 save percentage, 2.25 goals against, one shutout. 06, 07, 11 games played, 5 and 6 record, 916 save percentage, 2.44 goals against, and one shutout. So for New Jersey as a team, they seem to be getting further away from that cup, even though Berdur's playing absolutely out of his mind and great. So 07, 08, he plays 77 games, which is first, 44 wins, which is second, 27 losses, which is fourth in the NHL, 6 overtime losses or ties, 920 save percentage, which is 10th overall that year. 2.17 goals against, which is fifth. Four shutouts, which is ninth. So scoring seemed to come down a bit that year after, which happens. Uh, Vesna Trophy, he wins that. Uh, fifth in heart voting, voting and second team all-star. So the 07-08 season, five games in the playoffs, a 1-4 and four record, 891 safe percentage, 3.19 goals against, no shutouts. 08-09. 31 games played, 19-9-3 record, 919 save percentage. His 2.42 goals against is 10th in the NHL. His five shutouts, also 10th. As a result of him only playing 31 games, does not get Vesna consideration that season. So 09-10, he roars back with 77 games played. Uh, first overall, 45 wins also. First overall, 25 losses, 6th overall. And 6 overtime losses. 916 safe percentage, 2.24 goals against, uh, which is third overall that year. Nine shutouts is first. He wins the Jennings. He's third in Vesna voting, and he's eighth in Hart voting. So for goaltenders, I, I don't know if there's one who had as many uh, Hart votes as consistently as he did. Hoshik, of course, Hart candidate, absolutely. I believe Patrick Roy was in the conversation at points. With Roy, it was always a matter of he didn't probably play enough games to get as much consideration as some of the others. 2010-2011, 56 games played, a record of 23-26-3. The 26 losses are 6th in the NHL that year. 903 save percentage, 2.45 goals against. His 6 shutouts were 6th in the NHL. No playoffs that year. So, a long run of playoffs, and they're out in 2011. So, 2011-2012, 
bit of a resurgence for Brewers numbers. 59 games, 31 wins, 21 losses, four uh, overtime losses. I don't think we had ties at that point. I don't really worry about that column, to be honest. I don't really get into it because ties and overtime losses and shootout losses are kind of the, eh. I've even started noticing on some sites they don't even really report on that number. They just put the win-loss record. Uh, now, 908 save percentage, so that improved. 2.41 goals against and three shutouts. In the 2012 playoffs, this is the last time he appears in the playoffs. Uh, 24 games, a record of 14 and 9, 9, 17. Safe percentage, 2.12 goals against and one shutout. I desperately wanted the Devils to win that cup in 2012 for Marty Berdur. So for any of the, he hates Berdur, he hates Berdur. I, that, that was an inspiring run by New Jersey. And I felt like this was his last hurrah. It would be nice to see this end well for him. So in his career, he played 205 games in the playoffs, 113 wins, 91 losses, 919 save percentage, 2.02 goals against, 24 shutouts. That's not bad. Now I can take the small board and put it down here thusly, and we can return with the rest of the video, because now he's done in the playoffs in 2012. 2012, 2013, 29 games played, a record of 13, 9, and 7. 901 save percentage, 2.22 goals against, two shutouts. His goals against average is always good the whole way through his career. His save percentage does fluctuate. And so at this point, it's pretty clear that they they need the plan. Corey Schneider's going to get... Eh, it's kind of awkward. Uh, can Corey Schneider take over from Berdur? Well, it, it really, the Corey Schneider taking over from Berdur is similar. Not the same, obviously, but similar to when Tebow was replacing Roy or anybody trying to replace Hasek, right? So 2013-2014, 39 games played, and what would be his final year with New Jersey, 19-14-6 record, 901 safe percentage, 2.51 goals against, and three shutouts. And the most amazing thing is, I cannot just put a New Jersey Devils big logo on this board and do the entire video that way, because he ended up playing in St. Louis in 2014-2015. 3-3 three and three record in 7 games, 899 save percentage, 2.87 goals against, and 1 shutout. I was actually impressed with how well he played, considering signing there, and at this stage, at this point in time, he's, what, 25 years away from his draft year? Uh, yeah, just ridiculous. So for Berdur, he ends up with a career of 1,266 games played, which is first all-time, 691 wins, first all-time, 397 losses, first all-time, his 154 ties overtime losses, that's third on the all-time list. His 912 save percentage is 42nd. Now, that one you have to put an asterisk. There are eras where, where save percentage is really high. There's eras where save percentage is really low. And his career spans both. So I don't pay as much attention on that level. Uh, 2.24 goals against his ninth. Again, impressive numbers. Uh, 125 shutouts is first. I don't think anybody ever gets to 125 shutouts again. Uh, with the way the NHL is now with scoring, I don't think anybody hits 12 shutouts in a season. 11, 10, 10. These numbers are insane. 9, 9, 9. Like, just absolutely ridiculous. But it's a testament to the style of hockey as well that was played by New Jersey. So again, not meant as shade towards the player, Marty Berdur, but meant as a compliment to the entire organization that they're able to get him to play 70-plus games for that many years in a row, all the way from 97, 98 to 07, 08. And he's able to do it. You know, you have one year he misses some games here with, with injury in 08 09. Outside of that, he was really reliable and quite healthy. So, kudos to the organization for having that whole setup. Kudos to Berdur for being able to play in that system and play well. 2018, he made it to the Hall of Fame. It's one of those ones, it's kind of a surprise that they didn't induct him immediately when he retired. Like, just wave the three years, but they didn't. Uh, he scored three goals. Uh, his puck handling ability was widely discussed. The the current rule where goalies can't go into the the area, you know, you got to play down the trapezoid. Uh, it was Berdur and Turco, and I, I give credit to Turco. And I know people say this is a Berdur rule. I know people call it the Berdur rule, but Turco was part of it as well. Uh, Marty Turco, Martin Berdur. I guess if your name's Marty, you're a pretty good stick handling goaltender or. I, sure, Marty Hextall. Why not? Sure, we'll just put Hextall in that. Marty Hextall. Um, Marty Olmark's playing pretty well right now with the stick handling in Boston, too. He had a goal this year. Uh, Marty Rene had a goal in, in Nashville. They're all Martys. So uh, he also won Olympic gold with Team Canada in 2002 and 2010. Uh, 1996 and 2005, he wins silver at the World Championships. 
and 2004 it was a World Cup gold for him. So he definitely had experience wearing a Team Canada jersey, and generally teams that had him performed pretty well internationally. Uh, also, there's a bronze statue that's outside of Prudential Centre in New Jersey that was put up in 2016. And it makes sense that it's bronze because he had gold, he had silver. The only thing he didn't have was bronze, so you give him a bronze statue. Makes total sense. But it's a great career. It is a very long career. Clearly a 20-minute video just on his career, and I'm, I'm not even going into all the weeds on everything that happened all the way along the way, getting into his contracts, getting into all that fun stuff. Just talking about Berdur's contract, takes a while and it's because he was one of the most consistent goaltenders again very healthy well-conditioned goaltender the fact that i look at that era and i say i i was actually more impressed by raw and hashik in general in their careers i don't see that as an indictment of Berdur. and and i i i honestly apologize to people who do see that as an indictment of Berdur. it was never meant that way but at any rate there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.